Natalie with the Chumming Beads. Join me in learning how to do Hubble Stitch kind of added on in this Chantilly Lace Pendant. It features Potomac Crystal Ovals and if you need any supplies, check out the links below to shop with us online. Gather up your materials and make this dainty, nice lace pendant. We're going to begin our pendant section with some Hubble Stitch. I have .006 Wildfire Beading Thread. And to begin, I have my one and a half millimeter crystals laid out, 80 seed beads, my three millimeter bugles, and my 15 OC beads. My crystals are Crystal Slipper It. I have the Dirt Coat Galvanized Champagne 8 in the Miyuki Bram, the Gold Metallic Iris in the 3mm Miyuki Bugle, and then the Matte Dark Cream in the 15. I have 0 .006 Wildfire Beading Thread and about 5 feet on a size 12 English Beading Needle. I have a stop bead at the end of the thread there and I'm starting to do a Hubble Stitch for the center of the design. I have three of my crystals on my thread and needle and I'm going to sew back through the first crystal. That's going to put these three crystals kind of sitting in a Y formation. And I'm going to use one of my 80 seed beads and then sew through crystal number two. And I'm sewing down into crystal number two, almost like you would a herringbone stitch. That creates my first little section there. We're going to repeat this a total of six times. I'm going to now add one, two, and three crystals starting over. Let that drop down next to your three crystals that are already there. Take your thread and needle back from the start of those three through bead number one in the same direction from that left towards the right. Give a nice tight pull and kind of push it towards your last little Y section. And then in between beads one and two here, you're gonna grab bead number four, which is gonna be one 80 seed bead, and sew down bead number two. The only bead that you don't currently sew back through is bead number three that you added on that little section of Hubble. So again, we're going to do one, two, and three of our crystal beads. Let them fall next to the sections already completed. Take your needle and thread back through bead number one to round this out. So you're going back through bead number one towards bead number two. When you bring your thread and needle out there between beads one and two, just give a tight little pull to get it back towards the last section of your piece. Add a new bead number four into this unit. That's gonna be like the head of our foosball player, as I like to say, and you're sewing down through bead number two. So I have three of these on here. I'm gonna do three more of these units, and then we're gonna make it go into a rounded circle. Once you have the sixth one of these completed where I'm adding the top of that Hubble stitch, I'm gonna come down through bead number two after adding my 80 seed bead. And once you come down through that second crystal to complete it, you're also gonna jump over to the first Hubble unit. And I'm gonna sew up through bead number one. So you can see right there, up through crystal bead number one. That's gonna bring this into a rounded circle and force all of those eightos to kind of sit towards the exterior. What I wanna do now is come down into the interior and connect those crystals to make it a little bit more substantial as far as being held together. I want you to go down through or through bead number four of that first unit, down through bead number two of that first unit. And what we're trying to do is finally get into bead number three of the unit. So all the beads that sit opposite of your 80 seed beads, that's where we're gonna go in right now and join together in the center of this Hubble. Between all of them, I wanna pick up one of my 15 O seed beads in that cream color and then sew through the next interior crystal. And that would be, I'm going currently through number six in my initial Hubble sections. Add a 15, sew through the bottom bead, which is bead number three of your next Hubble unit. Just kind of push that stop bead out of the way there. 
You're going to repeat this, obviously, because we did six sides six times, where you're just adding a 15L, sewing then and connecting all of these interiors. And then as we go in and finish, we're going to step up to do a second, kind of a second row of a Hubble stitch. It's a little bit of a uh, variation. So I have two more to go in here. There's one. I'm just sewing again a 15 between each of these center crystal beads. There it goes on. And then what I'm going to do as I sew in bead number six, I'm going to go through the first crystal that my thread was coming out of, the next 15, and then the next crystal. To step up, now what I need to do is get to the top of the piece. So you can see how that center sits there, just like that. And now I'm going to sew through the side bead in that same Hubble unit, so back through bead number one. And then I'm gonna step up so that I'm coming out through my 8O seed bead. So there you have it. Now all the center is connected. It's a little bit more stable when you're holding on to it and you're ready to progress adding your next layer of beads on right on top and above these 8O seed beads. Once you're coming out of your 8O seed bead, what you're gonna do is add two bugle beads. I want you to sew back through that first bugle bead so that you're sewing towards the second bead. That's gonna lay one right next to another. Coming out then, I want you to add two more bugle beads. And once you have those two more bugle beads, same deal, you're gonna sew back through one towards bead number two. So you're doing the exact same thing two times. After doing so, I want you to take your thread and needle and go back through the 8 C bead. So see how they're kind of stacked there? What's gonna happen is they're gonna turn end to end. See, right like that. It's gonna almost look like little bat wings on there. From here, I want you to go back up through bead number one of your bugles, so the interior bugle. When you pop out the top of the interior bugle there, Go ahead and grab one of your crystals and go down through the bugle on the other side, bugle number one. So it's a Hubble stitch with a ladder stitch in between creating a second bugle on the sides. Coming out that first bugle bead then, I want you to add a 15, one of your 8 OC beads and a 15. Once you have those added there, Drop those down next to your last little bugle section. And now you want to go in and we're going to add one and two of our bugles. Sew back through bugle number one and out, not through bugle number two. Push that down towards those seed beats. Do another section of this where we repeat that bugle. So there's one bugle and a second one. Once again, sew back through bugle number one. And that's gonna fold that second bugle and that second set of two right on top of the first, just like that. And now you're going to sew through the 8 OC bead that's next in line towards the little V section that you just made. That kind of lays that right over top of itself. Go in now and go back up through bugle number one. When you're coming out bugle number one, give it a nice little pull and you see you get your next little point there of your star. Once you have that, what you're gonna do is add your crystal at the top. So you're gonna go in here and we have our top crystal that gets added and we sew down our bugle on the other side. Once we sew down our bugle on the other side, we're gonna go back into our 15, eight, 15, and then start our rotation again of two groups of our bugles. So just to show that repeat again, you have the 15, eight, 15, and then two stacks basically of your bugle beads. You're going to your next 8-0 from the original kind of star design there, 
and you're sewing back through the 8-0 towards your last little peak that you made. Once that lays down against the project, you're going to go back to the first bugle that you added, which usually is going to be laying on the interior or the bottom right hand side, and you're sewing back up just through that first bugle. Once you're out through that first bugle, this is where that Hubble stitch goes back in, that you're adding one of your crystals, and then down through the first bugle on the opposite side of your peak. So the secondary bugles are just sitting and hanging out basically on the sides until we go in and add seed beads as we go and add our crystals in again. So I'm going to continue going around now, adding in my 15, 8, 15, and then doing my little bugle peaks a total of six times. Three down and three more to go. Coming out of your last peak there in your last little point, you're coming out of that first bugle and I want you to add a 15, 8, 15 and we're going to attach basically our peak number one to our peak number six, going through again the first bugle on the interior. Those secondary bugles, you want to think about the fact that they just have one strand of thread going through them right now. From here, that completes the first portion of the little star there. These would make great little earrings if you want to stop here, add an ear wire in, or you can continue on to the exterior while we go in and add on the crystals. To progress, I'm going to go down, so I'm coming out bugle number one, I'm going to go down through bugle number two. When you come out through bugle number two, go into the 8 OC bead that sits between your peaks. Again, now we're going to sew up through bugle number two in the next line. So this one happens to be the next one back, going through that right hand side of the bugle. Coming out there. Go ahead and add one 15 OC bead in. Sew through that crystal rondelle on the point. Once you're through the crystal rondelle on the point, sew in one more 15 O, and then down through that secondary bugle. Again, as you're sewing down through that secondary bugle, while you're there if you want to, you can go right through the 8 O below it. So right now what we're doing is sewing down through that second bugle adding in an additional 15 next to our top crystal there, and catching on to the 8OC bead that sits below. Going through then that exterior bugle, coming out the top, adding a 15, sewing through the crystal that we put in the middle, coming out the crystal on the other side, add another 15, and then down through bugle number two. So I've done this now to my two points, sewing through the six to join the two sides together, or sorry, through the eight. And then as I come out, I'm gonna go up through the bugle in the next one of my points. Two down, and now I have four more to go, adding in that little extra touch on the exterior. After you add in your last 15-0 along the exterior peak there, I want you to sew down through the bugle and come out the 8 right after it. Again, if you want to, here's a cute little like snowflake earring that you could make into a design as well. Coming out the 8 we're going to start to add our 6 by 8 millimeter crystal ovals, and I'm using the crystal AB to really make it pop. I want you to take one of your crystal rondelles, then put on your ovals, coming out the top of the oval, You want to go ahead and add to the top of the oval a crystal, a bugle, and a crystal. When you are finished, go down the other hole of the oval. Get it nice and close towards the project. Grab one more of your crystals and sew back through that same 8 OC bead. When I sew through the 8OC bead, I'm also going to sew through underneath here to get to the next 8 the 158158 15, 8, and out. The crystal is going to sit right on top of that little section there and just kind of hang out there as it waits for it to get attached with additional bugles on the side. Coming out the next 8, we're repeating. So we have our crystal that we add, making sure when you add your crystal oval that it's going to sit up 
So I'm going through the right hand hole there so that it sits right like that. At the top, you want to do a crystal bugle, then your crystal. Come down through the other side of your crystal through hole number one. Once you're out there, make sure that your bugle and your crystals lay to the top of my oval without any extra sh thread showing there. And then to get it to sit correctly, add one more crystal and then go back through that same 80 C bead. When I go through the 80 again, sew through then the 15, the 8, the 15, the 8, and out. So this is kind of the great connector of all of the interior seed beads as well as adding the ovals to the exterior. The ovals on the exterior, like I said, they're gonna kind of sit up a little bit. Don't worry about that. As we go in and add our next row of our bugles, connecting to those, they'll start to sit recessed and into the design facing straight up. You do wanna make sure as you're adding all of the crystal ovals along the side here, that they are all facing up and that you don't have one facing down. So keep that in mind as you add them around in between the little spikes here of our star. After you're done going around and adding in your crystal ovals, I want you to come out the top of one of your ovals, basically stepping up to that exterior bugle. When you're at that exterior bugle, you're gonna come through the crystal, the, or the rondelle, the crystal, through the rondelle, and through the bugle. Coming out there, I want you to add a series of two 15 O's, one bugle, one 15, one eight, one 15. So two, one, 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 one. From here, you're going to sew into that point. I want you to go through the 15 crystal 15 and then out. From here, you're going to repeat the same thing. So you want 15, 8, 15, bugle, and then two 15s. Catch on to the next bugle at the top of the next crystal. And you can see that starts to frame that out. Again, you're going to repeat two 15s, then a bugle. I'm cleaning up my bead mat here. 15, eight, 15. Once you have that in, go through that next three beads at the point from the interior star. And you can see how that just frames out the design nicely with the bugles as we work around the whole exterior adding in these seed beads. Kind of the final touch to go along this lacy design is that you're going to go, after adding in the last of your piece here, you're going to go up through, you can see I've already done it here, you're going to go up through the exterior that you just added, the whole way kind of along that exterior edge, going back through the seed beads and the bugles one more time, down through the bugles, and as you come out through the 8 OC bead, you're going to add one of your crystals and then go up into the next 80 seed bead. So you're just skipping from one 80 to the other to complete kind of that lacy crystal look. It also adds and holds all of these little petals together. And you can keep going in the design, adding one crystal above till you're the whole way done with that process. I have one, two, three done. I still have three more to go. Once you're done adding in the crystal to sit below the eight, I want you to come out the fur or the top of one of the bugle beads, so right above the crystal. And what we're gonna do is make our bail here. I'm doing just a simple little ladder stitch, adding a 15, a bugle of 15, and then sewing back through that bead that my thread was coming out of. So it's coming out of the right side here of that bugle bead, 15, bugle 15, sew into the right and out the left. From here, I'm going to just flip it over so you can see a little bit easier. Sew through the 15, sew through that bugle bead, and then repeat again. 15, bugle, 15, back through the previous bugle. So again, sew up through, again stitching and switching here, up through the 15, and up through that bugle bead. 
to continue adding on a couple of the ladder stitch pieces here and we're gonna fold it over then and make a bail. So I have basically two additional ones on. I'm going to do an additional four more and then we'll round it out to make the bail for our Chantilly lace pendant. After you have six or seven so of these little ladder stitch pieces, what I'm gonna do is coming out the last one of my bugle, I'm gonna turn this over and go through that first bugle that's attached to that crystal. And I'm gonna go through the bugle and just the bugle. When I'm going through, I'm making sure whatever side my thread is coming out of, that's the side that I'm going into first. That's gonna fold that bail to the back of the piece. If you'd rather have it to the front, you can certainly pull it to the front. I'm gonna then go back through that bugle bead that I just came out of. Give a nice tight pull and those last two bugles sit right next to one another and you have your little bail section there. All I'm gonna do now is sew down into the piece. An idea, and to just knot off the thread then, an idea for you with this Chantilly pendant if you want to, keep in mind that you can keep it as simple or as complex as you want. Remember we went back to that opening star, you don't even have to continue on to add the crystals. You can also take more crystals and create a nice necklace that it's going to hang down on as well. So go ahead, once you're done with that bail section, so back into the design, down through the crystals, and just knot off the thread to the back side of the Chantilly pendant. As always, thank you so much for joining me in making this fun Chantilly lace pendant. Remember, if you need any supplies, you can check out the links to shop with us online at potomacbeads.com as well as potomacbeads.eu. Also, if you want to give a little thumbs up as well as comment below, let me know whether or not you're sticking just with the star, if you're adding crystals in, or if you're going to even make a rope and add some crystals on the side. You can also comment below and let us know your color selections that you've done the pendant in as well. Hopefully this sparked some imagination, gave you some ideas, and you enjoy making the Chantilly lace pendant. Thanks so much for watching, and remember if you haven't already, Click that subscribe button so you don't miss anything from us here at Potomac Beads.